Yo, what is up, guys? There is a new way to piss off your opponents and master do. Remember a couple of months ago before brand expulsion got banned, we had this insane FTK version where we uh, burn our opponent to death in the draw phase. Yeah, we have all thought that this was dead and gone. But um, recently, uh, when I was reading through the comments, someone mentioned that there is a new way to do it with shadow. Uh, sorry, duality. You can use duality or, or you can also use shadow's light. Uh, and wh wh once I read that comment, I exact immediately knew uh, what he was talking about. So I said, you know what? We got to do this video. I haven't seen anyone do it on YouTube yet. Like I didn't even look up for it. All I knew was like, okay, duality and infinite loop. It just made sense for me. That's why I was like, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know who to get, give credits right now, but... This ha someone else has done this before me. That's all I'm gonna say. I just don't know who, because I didn't really look up. I just read through the comments. Okay, um, yeah. The only issue in this is that you need to hard draw have duality or shadows light. The reason why I don't like to play shadows light in this uh, version is because, um, when you start with Simoon, you're locked into dark, so that means you cannot summon the Albion. Okay, so basically we want to summon with shadows light, um this card right here okay but if we start with shadows light uh and not duality we and start with simoon like we locked into dark we cannot summon this guy right here right but when we have duality we can use this in our opponent's draw face summon the albion and then activate albion's effect right if you cannot follow what i'm saying right now just watch the combo okay so basically um the combo itself does not really change much like it's almost the same like when people watch this play they're gonna feel like okay this is just a the normal black wing combo that everyone else would be doing right because and the good thing is they don't know that duality is set so they they don't even know what's coming and that's a good part all right so we're gonna search here twice like always nothing too crazy add those two cards activate shamal's effect that it's and actually, I actually like this even more than the previous version with Mirror Jade and Brand Expulsion because it doesn't die as easy to hand traps. And yeah, you can still like do stuff like other stuff in the like once you get hand trap, whatever. In the Mirror Jade version with Brand Expulsion, it just yeah, once you got hand trapped in a certain situation, it was over basically. Here, um, do not activate Shamal's effect, only the Feather Whirlwind to special them back the Vada. And then you can go either in Burial Storm right now or immediately into Nothung. This is up to you. And then we can change Shamal in the graveyard to get back our Zudri. Okay, this also works with any other Blackwing 2 card combo. Like, this is actually... One, all you need is Dwelty on your hand. Okay, and if you don't have Dwelty on your hand, it still doesn't matter. You can still play, like, your normal Blackwing combos. Like, and that's already enough. But sometimes, like, you know, sometimes your opponent just suddenly has the ultimate going second hand with million Kaijus and whatever, and that just sucks, right? Therefore, like... If we want to prevent stupid shit like this, we can play. Yes, by the way, I, I don't I don't personally like to run Twin Shadow. But if you like to run Twin Shadow, like, you can obviously get Twin Shadow. And you can set it here. If you want to play, like, I don't know, full armor monster and the soul dragon, uh, silver vent or whatever. It's also nice to get uh, Chinook to your hand. But, yeah. Alright. Um, next up, we can activate here Zudri's effect to tribute to the moon. We summon here this token. And then we can summon Beelze with the token. And with nothing. Okay. And now, once our opponent sees this, he's probably going to be like, Oh my god, what a noob. This is, this is going to be just another noob that I have to play against. But, yeah. <laughs> We're not actually noobs. We are actually cooking right now. <laughs> 
Now with him, we can send whatever we want. Stay here, it's in the avatar. And then we can go into this potter. Like that. Boom. And we can use Zephyr's effect to bounce. To this. I mean, one is Soul Dragon. Now, with this part, we can summon the other. And basically, that's all we need. If you want to uh, set up a bigger board, obviously, depending on what else you got in hand, you can now potentially activate the Black Feather Whirlwind. Something like. Um, another level 4 monster and then you can lose, use rebellion sound like a chaos angel if you really want to you know what can we do it yeah let's, let's go let's go let's go let's just do it for the sake of it yeah let's summon hammer time no reason and then we can activate the rebellion's effect He banish one of the monsters. Why not? But yeah, this usually does not come up. I uh, come with the combo. The cool thing about this is we are not losing to ball breakers. In general, we're not losing to anything. Actually, we are forcing our opponent to use all of his hand traps. Or like if he has any any place we are forcing him to use it in the draw phase but yeah okay so basically we're just gonna pass oh don't forget to set duality like that and now we're just gonna pass our turn and i had the best deal like that and now in the draw phase, we activated the duality, tribute the build set, summon the Albion. The cool thing is they cannot negate, uh, imperm the Albion, which is really nice. They could use Super Poly, obviously, but um, actually no, because we are, we have mandatory effects. So we we're gonna start with that. Target the Bielce and target nothing. And then say your opponent's side of the field. Oh, it's really important to target first the Bielce. Okay. Summon him. Now we're gonna summon nothing to our side. And now look at this shit. Nothing activates. Uh, target. It's not targeting, but make. We to lose 800 and also burn our pawn for 800. Now look at this shit. Look at this shit. <laughs> yeah. Only if he has super poly, he can prevent that. But the good thing is, if he does have super poly, Rather use it on that than anything else. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's actually fun and you don't have to play many bricks at all. Plus duality is not only good for this, it's also good for all the other things. Like we can we can use duality to do uh to like for example if you have Lubellion on field, we can make Lubellion become like a black wing dragon. Which is also pretty nice. So, and then we can draw one card. It's also really nice. If you're playing the Shadow's Light. Is it called Shadow's? Shadow's Light, I don't know. If you're playing that card, then you can also uh, do an additional normal summon. Which is also pretty cool. So, yeah. Just in general. Great cards. Great cards that you can make use of. And. Call your opponents. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, put the notification bell on. 
And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.